In today's video, I am going to share with you guys what I picked up from the Ara Estelle Oop Sale. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For all of you that are new, welcome. I want to thank you all so much for stopping by. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plants. So, Ara Estelle had an oop sale. I don't remember. Was it the end of September? I know it's been a few weeks. Um, <clears throat> I purchased it on the first day that it opened. It opened to people that had signed up for the newsletter on a Thursday, and then it opened to the general public on Friday. I got my order in on Thursday. I like literally probably within the first hour that everything that the sale started, I made my purchase. Um, these are my oops purchases. And then over here, I picked up two regular sale items. So these are not oops, but they were on sale. And then I got a freebie for spending $100. So we will kind of go through everything. Um, we will try to inspect the covers, because obviously these are covers, to see if we can find where the oops is. And then I will do flip throughs of the planners to show you what the planners look like in case this is a new to you brand, because this is a new to me brand. So yeah. For this to be a new to me brand, I did go a little crazy with my very first purchase, but shipping was not cheap. And when shipping isn't cheap, I try to make sure I get everything I could possibly want so I don't have to place another order. So with that said, how about we start with the covers? Because then we can try out the planners in the covers. All right. So we'll start out here. We'll go smallest to largest. I think this might have been the very first cover that went in my cart. So all of them come with these like really cute dust bag that has a little cinch thing. Now I did open them all up just to make sure it was the right color and everything before I pulled them out. So that's the reason why the bows and stuff look a little wonky. But I'm going to pull everything out and then we're going to kind of examine it and talk about it. So... <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> I do not have, well, I did not have a week's planner and this is a week's zippy cover. Um, this is part of the OOP sale and everything that was part of the OOP sale was up to 60, 65% off. I believe this, I believe retails for 60 or $70. I got this for $35. And when I saw this, I wasn't thinking week's cover. I said, this would be such a cute wallet for when I go into the office because I use a um, over like a crossbody book bag type thing. And I'm like trying to stuff my purse into it so that way I don't have to carry a purse too. This is so much better. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the first thing is this is the little strap that goes on the inside. So you can like hook a notebook to it, like your traveler's notebook, even though it's like weak size. Um, they do have these two little hooks here. So you can purchase your own little strap that you could hook on and make this a purse. And you can see this is the scalloped version. They do have, I believe, like a non-scalloped -scallop, version. But I was drawn to the red and the red was in the scalloped version. And it's so crazy that I was drawn to the red because I'm usually not. But this one just spoke to me. So you do have a pocket in the front and then you have a pocket in the back. And this one is a zip pocket so there we go you can put money or change in it and then the zipper so you have two zippers they're pretty large zippers heavy duty zippers and I can't like it's hard to show up like the way they are like do like the way they are kind of made they look like little bows isn't that cute so now we're going to open this so then the strap would go here so you would put this here so that you can just slip like a notebook on it and then here's the inside. Now that we have it open, I'm doing like a quick little examination for the oops. Can you spot the oops? Now you have the branding there, which is really, really pretty. I do like that. I like that it's on the inside. So it's only on the inside. It's not on the outside. Okay, so here's, I don't, I don't, I don't see anything, guys. It's something must be there, but I don't see it. <laughs> It was oops, but I don't see an oops. Who knows? So, yeah. <laughs> so we have a scallop, the scallop detail here and here on the pocket. So you have one pocket on this side. Let's see how deep they are, just in case you're not familiar with it. And I guess, being this is a Canadian brand company, I'll do centimeters. 
So if you go to the, it's like five and a half with the top scallop. So that's decent size. I guess that one really doesn't matter. And then you also have a scalloped pocket here. Feels a little tighter here than there. And then you have another pocket there. So you have like two little pockets there, you know, slip pockets. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, six card slots here. And these are seven centimeters deep. They all probably, yeah, they're all going to be seven centimeters deep. So those are pretty deep pockets. And then this one is five. So there we go. Super, super cute. Again, I do not see an oops. <laughs> I don't, y'all. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, I, you know, I expected to maybe see something. I mean, I've got it for more than 50% off, but I'm not seeing it. So, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> we'll put this back inside. I don't think I'm going to put the styrofoam back inside. But like I said, I, I can use this as a planner cover, but I can also use this as a wallet. And I really like it as a wallet. I just like the scallop detail. I think it's really, really cute. And you know, it's kind of comparable to the price of a wallet, but it has enough room on the inside because it's made for a planner. It has like the little bit of sturdiness where you kind of have that extra, where you could put something thicker down in there if you need to. All right. So that's my first one. Again, that one was, I think $35. Here is the second one. This is a B6 size. Now, I did buy covers in sizes I didn't already have. So, I have a Notique cover that is like a classic size. And then I have some Live Love Posh Disbound covers in multiple sizes. But when I wanted to make it a point to only purchase covers for sizes I didn't have. So, this is a B6. Again, on this one, you do have your little ribbon bookmarks, which I really kind of do like. And then on this one, you have your two pockets here. And then you have your two pockets here. And you have your one pocket on the front. Now, this is not an adjustable strap, um, but you do have two pin loops here, and it's on the actual strap. But this is a pretty roomy strap. And then, just in case you're interested, we have seven and a half centimeters are for these and this one you get three card slots here this one is eight centimeters and then this one is four and a half so then you got three card slots here and then two down here um so yeah and then on the rs styles i didn't show you on this but they have like a little like hoop loop there that you can put like a charm on it if you want to do that so yeah this is super cute and this one has it's like a little um what do you call it embossed debossed um there with Ara Estelle so again I really like this color y'all I don't know like I don't know I mean I'm not even seeing like excess glue anywhere I don't know. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing an oops. So that's my second one. This one, I think I paid $30 for. Again, I think they were all about the same price. I believe they were all roughly $69 regular. So yeah, there we go. And then the third one was $40. This was the most expensive. I believe this one was $40. Um, and then I got an A5 because I do not have an A5 and A5 is a very popular size for a lot of notebooks, a lot of journals. So why not? Now I was nervous about this one because, okay, I love white. I think it's very, very pretty. It's very, very elegant. It can transcend through the seasons. You can use it in the winter or you can use it in the summer. It doesn't matter. Um, but you're nervous about it because as an oops, if you were to find an oops, it would be on the white one. <laughs> there will be plenty of oops on this after I use it. But I'm not, again, just at first glance, not seeing anything. I mean, there might be a little black speck there that's like barely seen. That's because I'm looking for something. Is that an oops? Would that qualify as an oops? I don't know. Um, so this one has the adjustable strap here. 
So you can see there's three slots, one, two, three. So you can just fold this in to pull it out to move it into one of the other slots. So that way, dependent on the thickness of what you have in here. Again, you have your ribbons and you have one of these. So you have room for more, but they do provide you with one. You do have to purchase any extra ones separately. I have to like watch a YouTube video to figure out how to put that in. Um, but just like the other ones, you do have your two little flaps here. So you could put your um, planner or notebook here, slide the back in there. And then this, you can put like a sticker or some sticker sheet or something like that. Same thing here. You put like a notebook, the inside of a notebook there. Um, I like how this isn't like solid and I wonder if that's like that to kind of allow you to stuff it in there easier. I'm assuming there's a reason for it because the like all the little, there just seems to be a purpose for everything. So I'm assuming there's a purpose for that. Um, and then again, just in case some people do want to know this, I don't really care, but I know some people may really be interested in this. So this is like seven and a half centimeters. I'm assuming they all are these three. Yeah. So you have the three here and then you have the two larger ones, eight and a half, almost five. So yeah, there we go. So you got your front pocket. I mean, it's just pretty much what it is. Again, I'm not seeing an oops, guys. Um, maybe the little itty bitty microscopic little dots. I mean, I know companies have to be sticklers, for issues when they're especially charging a lot of money for things. So my guess is there's probably something on here that I can't tell, but I guess when you're producing a whole bunch, it probably can like, if you have a whole bunch lined up, you may be able to tell. I don't know. So those are my three covers. Again, I think I paid 40 for this one, 30 for this one, and 35 for this one. And they all retail for about 70 bucks. And then with that, I purchased two planners and then I got my free notebook. So we'll let's start with the B6. This planner is the whole reason why I became aware of Ara Estelle. Believe it or not, it had nothing to do with the covers. I eyed this planner probably in the spring of this year. Let me get this out and then we'll chat about it. It's probably easier to open it up from the top, but for some reason I want to open it up at the bottom. So <clears throat> earlier this year, I was looking for a notebook to do like a dear diary type journaling in. So nothing I would show on the channel, but just things that I would do on my own. And I wanted one of these bendy notebooks. Um, and I came across this one, but shipping to the States, um, I believe if you were to purchase just one, it was like $9.99. So even though this was on sale at that time that I was looking at it, it was half off. So these are not oops. But this one, I think, was $23. So this one is about $45 at regular price. Um, I did not want to pay $35 for a notebook. So that's the reason why I did not purchase it this spring or summer. Instead, I went with the um, Stayology from Amazon. But, you know, if I'm making a purchase, if I'm buying all these covers, I might as well go ahead and pick this up. So that way I'm not wanting to pick it up again and then not doing it because of the shipping prices. So this is the horizontal. This is the layout. Here we go. So you can see what it looks like. So it's two boxes. So when it says horizontal, that could be a little deceiving if you are kind of thinking, your typical horizontal, like your weekly horizontal. These are like more daily horizontal. So basically your days are broken up into two. And that really, really intrigued me. Now, because this is undated, this, how they group everything together is a little bit different. So actually this is interesting. This is like heavy cardstock for the first page. And then you have your title page. And even though it's undated, they actually have calendars here from 2023 to 2026. So again, I don't know that I'm going to be using this in 2025. Um, we'll see, but I could just tape the pages together. So this is Tomoy River paper, which is something I am not super familiar with. Um, I was using a Stayology, which uses paper that's a little bit thicker, but I actually did enjoy writing on that. Um, I didn't do anything crazy or anything like that. Just use regular pens um, and I did enjoy it. Um, and using this type of paper, it does keep your books a lot thinner. <laughs> so that is always a plus sometimes too. 
So these are just two blank pages. And then you come, I guess these are kind of like your annual overviews, but because it's undated, it's blank. So you have three here, so three vertical columns and then three on the side. So this is for six months or six goals, however you want to do it. But they use grid. So can you see the grid? It's super light which I am personally a fan of as someone who likes to sticker things up, the lighter, the better. And then you have your other six months here. So you have three and three again. I'm gonna have to put it down so I can like, maybe I need those like little, <laughs> the little grease on the fingers. And then you have your two blank pages and your monthly. So here's what the monthly looks like. Decent size boxes for this size planner. You have your little column here and then you have an area at the bottom for notes as well. So they do maximize the space by not leaving as much free space because your calendar is pretty much all the way at the top. So that way you do have an extra area down here as well as the side. So there we go. You have your five weeks that you can go ahead and date. And then you have two blank pages before it goes into the next calendar. Now, I don't think I would ever use this as a planner. Um, so that's why this did not bother me to have all of the cal um, the calendars lumped together. Because I think I would use this more for like journaling or note taking or brainstorming, who knows, or maybe I end up liking it like that ended up using it as a planner. But here is your horizontal layout. So you see how you have this page, you have it broken into two. So you have a big box here that you can put the date or title or something like that. And then you have your other box down here. So the, the concept is you have eight boxes per week. So one for like uh, this week and then one for each day. So that's how it goes. And then in the back, you do have just regular blank graph paper. So like I said, I thought this would be perfect for journaling or things like that. Um, I am going to be doing journaling a little bit different next year. So that's why I'm not sure that I'm going to use this right away, but it's undated so I can do it at any time. So this is a 68 GSM paperweight, just for those of you that are inter um, interested in all of that. And they do provide you these little sheets that kind of give you ideas how to use it. There we go. And that's how they, they, they have plenty of options for you to use that yearly overview as well. All right. So that is my B6 and just for comparison purposes, I know we like to try to keep these videos short, but I never works, never works. <laughs> A Tracy video never feels short, but um, I do kind of still want to show you guys how they fit. This fits with room to spare. So it does have enough room. And they did mention that they they make their covers so that way if you do use the plastic covers, which is what a lot of people use, um, it will still fit in the planner. And you can see, look how much room I still have in there. So I will have room for like a little thin notebook as well. And that will be fine. I mean, look, I, I have plenty of room there with that. So that works fine. And I have a hardcover B6 notebook. I don't think I'm going to put this in here because I think this rope is not going to be good. But I could probably do it like this. And it, it should be fine. It fills it up a little bit better. But like if I did want to take this notebook somewhere, I wanted to protect it and wanted to put it in a cover because I wanted to put stickers or take stickers or something with me. I could do that. I would just have to be a little bit more creative because um, this strap will probably make it hard to go in there just because it's not going to be tight. When If you just keep it open like this, it's not going to be tight. It's not made for a cover, I guess, <laughs> but I like to test it out. I like to test it out. Why not? Why not? All right. So there we go there. <clears throat> All right, so then I, let's show you this first. This is the freebie. So if you spent $100, you get a free companion notebook. You have to pick the size and the color. You just had to email them. Like I said, for them, they're a small company. Dealing with all these emails, they were pretty responsive. So I picked the pink because you have between pink and black. Um, and I got the weak size because... <laughs> now I have a week's <laughs> cover or a week's 
I have a weak size purse. So I want a notebook to go in my weak size purse. I'm gonna call that my purse. And this is, it has perforated pages. Oh, they actually have section dots on here. They do, look at that. So you can tell where the half of the page is. That's neat. Um, again, this is very light. It's like dot, it's like dotted grid. And I'm encouraging you to see the perforation there. So it's just a notebook with Tomoy River paper, but it still has the nice like cover, which I didn't really talk about the cover. The cover is like kind of a hard cardstock type thing, but it is like a nice texture. So again, this is my freebie for purchasing $100 worth of stuff. So that was my Thursday order. And I kept thinking and thinking and thinking after Thursday. There was a 2024 weeks that was in the sales section, the same sales section I purchased this from that was also half off. And I'm like, do I really want a week's planner? I mean, I'm kind of set for 2025. Do I really need another planner? And do I really want to try a week's? On Friday, I decided, yes, I do. So I emailed them and said, hey, just curious, is there any chance I could add something additional to my order? And I provided all the information for them. Within an hour, y'all, within an hour during this huge sale, they provided a um, invoice for this and my order was updated. Got a new receipt and everything. It was amazing. Like that alone, I was super impressed by because we know when these small companies have sales, it could probably be super overwhelming. Okay, so here is my 2024 outdated <laughs> planner. Um, so I figured <laughs> now I have a week's purse. I might want a planner to go in my purse. I'll probably buy another cover. Let's let's be real. I'll probably get like a Motarm or something like that. We'll see. Or I'm actually thinking I could cover this with contact paper. Hmm, we'll see. So this is one year's worth, but you get two volumes, which I'm actually a fan of because as someone who uses stickers, it means it won't get, I mean, I'll still get thick, but it won't be like crazy thick. So you have January through June and then July through December. Um, so you have everything here. So I would just cover that up. But let's just look at one. We only need to look at one. And you have your little how to how to use it, some ideas and suggestions. So this is your classic daily. Again, this is the data version. Their data versions and their undated versions do differ. So what I was noticing is your undated versions group together all of your monthly calendars, then all your weeklies are grouped together, and then all your dailies are grouped together, which I don't know if they have dailies for the week's undated. I don't know. I didn't look too much into that because they were not, not on clearance. Um, but this, because it was half off, I got it for $23, $22, $23. Um, and their 2025 was just coming out. I think they already did pre-orders for it. So if you did not pre-order it, I think they'll be on the website at some point to order. Um, but obviously I was paying $17.99 for shipping. So I'm like, let me go ahead and get this. Plus, in all honesty, I never used a Weeks before, so I would rather purchase an outdated one for half the price than purchase one that was current for full price if I'm not sure how I'm going to use it or how I'm going to like it. So let's see. So you have your heavier cover thing there. And then this also, it has 23 through 25, so that definitely cannot really be used because it's only the first three months of 2025. So I will likely just tape these together. All right, guys, so here is, I guess, your annual overview, your perpetual calendar. And y'all, I'm impressed because they do not have the weekends shaded. Yay, yay, yay. I get so annoyed when they sh when companies shade the weekends. I'm like, I don't care what day the weekend is on. <laughs> I'm not tracking this like this. If I'm using this, it's to like, let's say you use it to track your steps, which I don't do. But if you did that, it, it doesn't matter. You're tracking it for the day. I don't want it shaded. So I love the fact that it's like this, which also means it doesn't matter that's for 2025. Um, the only thing is I'll just have to like hide the 29th for February because it was a leap year on the 2024. But other than that, I'm not gonna have to do anything but just put a sticker over 2024 and then cover up the 29 and I'm ready to go. 
So it makes redating super simple. Okay, and then you have a blank page here. So again, this one only goes to June. And then here's your monthly calendar. So the monthly calendar actually is a little dark. This is a lot darker um, than the outline for the B6. I don't know if that's a difference. So you see the B6, the outline is kind of hard to see. This is a little bit darker. Actually, everything on here is a little bit darker. Um, yeah, everything in here is a lot darker than this one, which I, I don't, I mean, I like the lightness, but actually I'm not too bothered by this. It is a Sunday start, which again, for someone who's redating, I prefer because I will change this to a Monday and then for March forward, I should not have to actually redate this. It should fine, be fine, but January and February are going to be off just because of that leap year. Um, so I will have to redate January and February all the way through. Um, but I'm also noticing there are no holidays on here, which is also a good thing when you're redating an outdated planner because I'm not gonna, I'm literally not gonna have to white out anything. So I could do a Monday start and be fine. Okay, I am digging this. I'm like, might not ever buy a <laughs> current one. Um, and then you just have the 2024 there that you can hide. And then you have space down here and you have like a little skinny sidebar here. And then here we go. So here is the weekly. So you see you have your monthly followed by your weekly. So that is the difference with the dated versus the undated. This is my preference. Um, I, well, I can't really say what my preference is because I haven't really used the other kind before, but I'm thinking this is my preference. So these are like squares. So you have squares for each day plus of this week. Can you guys see it? This is because the Tomoy River paper is so thin. I feel like it's hard to kind of see it, but can you see that? It's like squares. It's like a perfect square. Um, now I'm thinking about using this for my social media planning and I'm thinking this will be enough, but if it's not, you have seven daily pages immediately after your weekly overview page. So I'm thinking I can continue this on and do another version over here with the seven days. I can do a true horizontal or something of that nature to kind of break it apart. So like I could do my videos and posting information here and then I can do my PR stuff over here. I'll have to figure it out and play with it. Um, but I'm not gonna be using this as daily pages. So I'm going to completely hide this with like a sticker or something, and I'm going to use these by topics. I have a lot of to-dos that I have to do every single week that's more topic-based than day-based. So like I'll have my daily overviews over here where I know what's like date-specific, but everything that I need to do that week that isn't date-specific can go on these other pages by category. And I think that will work really well for me. Um, now, if this was my catch-all, I probably would use it as a daily, um, but I think for social media, I may not need to. I may. I mean, maybe we'll try it both ways um, toward the beginning to see what works, but I'm excited. I think there's a lot of options here, and it's not, it's not going to require that much covering up. So everything repeats. So you have, again, your weekly kind of overview followed by your seven daily pages. And then for your next month, you'll have your monthly calendar. And you can see how you can tell. So they don't have tabs, so I could choose to tab it or not. I'll probably make my own pencil board and just put it in, move it around so I can know what's there. And there are blank pages in the back. I don't believe there's that many, but there are some. Let's see. Do they tell me how many? They probably tell me somewhere, but that's okay. So you have like a little handful of blank pages in the back. Like I said, you have seven daily pages in between each one. So I'm super excited about this. I think it will work pretty well as a social media planner because I feel like if it's something that I can just keep on my desk or pop with, like pop around with me, it's a good place where I can like brainstorm, um, which is kind of how a lot of my social media planning gets done. So again, if I wanted to put both of these in here, I mean, it's more than enough room. So yeah, I mean, I think that works. So that's my haul, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Think I did good? <laughs> now again, these are my oops, but I can't find the oops, so I wouldn't know that they were oops. Um, but yeah, so I got these off for 
at least 50% off. Like I said, these all retailed for, I believe they were $70. Um, but I got this one for 40, this one for 30 and this one for 35. Um, this one was a little bit more because it's the zippy one. Um, but like, like I said, this isn't my planner cover. This is my purse. Um, and then I got my weeks, my 2024 weeks, which I'm going to redate. So this is a daily. So it has two of them there. And then I got my B6, which I'm going to hang on to for a rainy day. This is probably going to be more of like a journaling or something like that. And then I got my freebie, which is the grid notebook. So that's it. That is my haul. Definitely, if you have not subscribed, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be trying to set all this stuff up. May try to get off fancy and like do some fun stuff with the covers. We'll see what I'm going to use these covers for, but now I have covers of varying sizes. So I have covers for days um, and I'm happy about it. I'm not mad about it at all. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited with my purchase. Everything feels great. I mean, of course, I have to actually use it to give you guys my final opinion. But at like first touch and first like play around and glance, I'm, I think everything is great quality. It kind of meets my expectations, if not exceeds it, because like I was expecting something to stand out as an oops and I didn't. So I can say this exceeded my expectations. I'm super excited to try these planners actually really excited about the freebie because I wouldn't have purchased it and this probably was something that I should have purchased after looking at it and considering that I think this would be a perfect addition to my wallet purse um <laughs> but yeah so I'm excited I'm happy I'm gonna be doing a lot of fun setups with this so like I said definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming your way may have a few more haul videos I did order a couple of more things that I'm still waiting to come in from like Tamu Amazon and things like that but that is all I have for this particular video yes it was lengthy but I do like to go through things in detail um, so I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please smash that like button. I do want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you stayed around this long, really, really thank you because that was probably a little rough. Um, but I still hope you enjoyed it. And again, thank you again for all of your support. I so appreciate it. And with that said, I hope you all have a good rest of your day, evening or night until next time. Bye.